one more concept in patient safety is the healthcare failure mode and effect analysis now remember we talked about the root cause analysis root cause analysis was a retrospective tool which you use after the incident has happened now healthcare failure mode and effect analysis hfmea is actually a prospective tool where you are proactively building your systems uh, in a way that errors and mistakes can be avoided and disasters can be avoided so this is another tool that has been uh, adopted into healthcare from some other industries so what do you do in failure mode and effect analysis first thing is you have to identify a very high risk uh, uh, topic to address so this is uh, you know this is an area where if things go wrong the consequences can be uh, disastrous so um, for example you could do an fme hfmea for uh, very high risk medications you could do it for some you know electric failure uh, in the hospitals what about fire um, you know suicides uh, child abduction all of these are uh, are ripe topics for healthcare failure modes and effects analysis because the effect of uh, uh, such uh, incidents would be catastrophic so first thing is you define your topic clearly second is you you assemble the team uh, based on the expertise that they can bring to the topic so you need some domain experts uh, to come into the team you need people who understand uh, hfmea and who can apply the principle who can guide the principle and facilitate it etc third is you lay out the process so you will actually graphically map out the process uh, you know what is the first step what is the second step and what is the end step etc you will map it out and then what you will do is for each of the steps that you have identified you will uh, conduct a hazard analysis so you will go to each step and you'll ask what is the probability that this step could go wrong second if this step goes wrong uh, how severe would it be how severe would the consequences be and the third step is if it goes wrong what are the chances that it will be or will not be detected so this is how you do a, a hazard analysis on each of those steps so it helps you to understand which of those steps are really critical and it also helps you to understand which of those steps are um, you know uh, have the highest failure risk or failure mode Uh, so to speak and based on that then you will develop some action and outcome measures so you will decide in effect uh, you know what action you need to take or what systems what systems you need to put in place for each of those steps in the process that will help you to avoid those errors and you will help you to avert any disasters from happening so there you have it these are uh, some of the main important topics for your cphq exam uh, i hope this was helpful and in the next video i'm going to talk in detail about run charts control charts statistical process control standard deviation and how to apply statistical process control to improve and control your process so stay tuned for the next video from me and as always i hope that the material that i'm providing in cphq mastery is of immense help to you in your preparation to get certified the very first time thank you very much and i will see you in the next video